Hey guys, it's here bringing you another video. Whoa. Uh, welcome back to Climb to Master. Uh, we return a, like 50 or 60 LP, somewhere like that, in Diamond 3. A uh, pretty poopy situation happened earlier today. I got trolled uh, in one game, um, and it was like an actual personal troll, like a guy trolled because I was me. Um, and then I had him in the next game, and then I got camped and got, you know, that, get that game lost too. Cause, but we had a Sona jungle in that game. So one game I had a Teemo jungle, the next game I had a Sona jungle. A little bit of a feels bad, man. I'm not even kidding. Like, you can't make that stuff up. Um, but yeah, hopefully. I, I'm now, like, I, I stopped streaming for a couple hours, and I'm back now streaming in the evening. Because I was like, I'm going to play some solo queue. I may as well stream. Most of the European people are at TwitchCon. So maybe the audience is bored and they want someone to watch. Which is me. Alright, playing Xerath. Um, I had a... Uh, okay. God, no one still expects the level 2 gank. Like, Ude has to use Flash to get those ganks. So, like, just always expect the level 2, man. Respect it. Respect the level to is Lisa not can't wait. He's doing a full clear on Lisa. Looks like it. That's a bit weird. So he's giving up the scuttle crabs. You can damage him a little bit because it hurts his Oh no. Oh. Ooh. And he didn't have flash, so. That was really greedy. What the hell? That was really greedy of him to go for that crab after we knew he didn't have flash. Wait, I wouldn't teleport. Eh, I guess it's not bad versus Morgana. Me and Jace both used... Not Jace. Why do I think I've got Jace? I've got Gangplank. Um, both of us used Flash for that. Who got the kill? Uh, Lee. Would have been good if me or uh, Gangplank got it, I think, because we used our Flash. Lee Sin, by the way, didn't even use his Flash. It was us two that did. Mine was admittingly quite bad. Oh my god, that's terrible. Like that's That's honestly really bad. Oosh. That's who we did. And yeah, he had red smite. That's true. Hmm. The problem, again, the matchup of Lee Sin versus Udyr is a weird one. Because, like, Lee Sin, obviously, you've got to try and do stuff in the early game. But you can't really fight an Udyr as Lee Sin. And then Udyr's late game is way better than yours in, like, actual fighting. Like, obviously, Lee Sin generally has better utility than an Udyr in most games. Like, if Udyr can get five stuns on each enemy player, then yeah, sure. But a lot of the time, you can't do anything in late game as Udyr because you can't actually get on top of people. Lee Sin's got really good utility with his kick, etc. Um, but if you don't do much in the early game as Lee, it's a worry. Because that's where you're hoping, you know, he will... Is he not? No. I'm going to do some damage. And then that's warded. Okay. Kind of want him to go bot lane. I'd be careful if I was bot. Oh, I'm really scared that they're going to die. Right, I'm just gonna ping occasionally. <laughs> oh wow, that missed that minion. That looked weird. Late games. Uh, technically, we might have late game advantage. Oh, whoops, that was a bad thing by me. Um, because again, they've got a technically a support in the mid. 
I'm an actual mid laner, so the damage output for me would be a lot higher than a Morgana. Oh, that was bad from Jace. If, if Gangplank can get that kill from that mistake, that would be huge. Nice, dude. That was really bad from Jace. Holy moly. Again, Jace, you would probably call a lane bully, especially when he's against melee champions. And making that mistake of giving a late-game late, late game Gangplank a, a free kill. Ooh. Ooh. Morg does... You no, know, Morg does damage. I'm not saying she doesn't do damage, but compared to a Xerath, she doesn't. There's a definite difference between the two. I just don't want, like, Udyr to get a little bit snowboardy, you know what I mean? Like, I would be... St like, to me, Thresh being over here is only, like, making it obvious that Udyr's here for a lantern, right? Like, again, think of League of Legends like a book. Why is certain things happen? Why is a character in the tavern at 8 o'clock in the night? You know, it's the meet another character. Why is Thresh standing there? It's to set up another character. Like, again, you can, you can put things in that way. There's a reason for everything. Again, that is very much true for the higher rating you go. In low rating, things are a little bit random. People may not be thinking clearly, or they might not have an actual logic to the decision. But the higher rating you go, like, this is Diamond 2 and Mamar. Yeah, there's a reason. And even though I'd say the quality of League of Legends has gone down... Yeah, still probably a, a reason. What happened? Oh, dude, thank you very much. Damn. Thought it was worth it, because I'm not really going to kill Morgana in a 1v1, am I? Thresh? Wow. That was practically into. Yeah, it seems the Gangplank is the type of guy that just says things to be edgy. One of those cool internet fellas. Look, a level 7 Gangplank having to run away. Nice. He should run. For a level 7 Gangplank nearly getting absolutely murdered to a level 5 Udyr. And the, the Udyr is legit like, okay. Like, that should not be like the thought process of an Udyr. Like, there, there should be no way that he wins that anywhere close. But Udyr just does. Um, but yeah, Chim... What was I say? Chin... Oh. I didn't use spell shield. Um, Chinan. Oh my god, how do I say your name? Chinanagama. Sure. Uh, thank you so much for the thousand biddies, my friend. All Might thanks you with plus ultra. I need to get more like donation sounds and stuff like that. Again, I don't build my my channel and stuff on donations. I never want to rely on them, but I do want to thank them a lot. Because they're completely unexpected. So the Morgana, by the way, is all about I'm staying mid, pushy, pushy, pushy. She's, like, even farm with me. Again, it's likely a support main. Oh. Because, again, not many people play... Morgana mid. I'd say on average it probably is a support main that's going to do it. I'll come with him because Udyr's probably here, if we had to guess. It was a pretty safe bet that he was there. Out of range, man. Damn. I thought Lee, oh, Lee Sin d stopped. Oh, don't die in mid now, please. Oh, I really wish Lee Sin followed me top lane. We would have killed both of them. I think that was a better play to go top. I think we would have got a lot more. I think it was less risky to go top two. I, I, like, I don't really care about Morgana pushing. 
It's a support basically in mid lane, more or less. Like, I know it's got better scaling than it used to have, but I'm not scared of a Morgana. That's the thing. Trying to 2v1. Both of them have died three times. Again, I queued up as jungle this game as my main role because I actually said to the, the chat before I began the stream, um, the two roles that have been letting me down the most when I lose games is jungle and bot lane. I don't want to main bot lane because I don't really like relying on another person, like a, a partner in my lane, because that sometimes is just very frustrating. Uh, so jungle, I can I, my jungle ult usually sucks and I can affect the bot lane as a jungler more than I can as a mid laner or a top. And then the first game I queue up as jungle as my main role, I get mid. So what the hell are the chances of that? Must be so ridiculously low. Random. I think Uda's going bot lane. Is it bad to go Morg mid or build Rower? I wouldn't, because that makes you irrelevant for a very long time, and I think you need to be irrelevant earlier rather than later. Wow. Did he? No. Doesn't have tier 2 boots, just is pretty damn quick. I had a feeling who was bot. That damage. It's not too bad. bit messy. No, mid is the most played role. Um, top in high, it, again, it, the role uh, percentages change depending what rating you're in. In low rating, support is the least played role. In high ratings, support, uh, sorry, did I say, I, I might have said the wrong thing. Support is the least played role in low rating, but in high rating, top lane was the least played role. Or at least it usually is. Like, what is with people and just feeding people in my own lane? Like, like Jesus. That's a waste. Why would you waste a 600 gold item? Like, I know it was probably from her rune, but still, that is a 600 value item. When you know you're dead. Weird. Yeah, I think mid lane is universally the most played. Oh, that Q. That was spicy. That hook. Get your ult off, Bran. Has been slain. Mm. I would get there in time. Whenever people, like, I don't know what it is. I'm a Magna man. Whenever like someone wants to kill me, they use everything. Like the top lane flashes on top of me. It's like what? Okay. The angry guy got a solo kill, I guess. Solo. 
Good stun. And then opened inside. No, Ezreal! He should still die. Yeah, nice. Run, run, run. Just keep running. Just keep... No, don't stop. Don't stop, you pleb. Ezreal completely mucked up. So this is what I mean. Like, the quality of the game has definitely gone down. Because actually a good Diamond 2 quality Ezreal there would not have stopped. He could have... He would have kept running to force the Udyr to have to, like, continue. So that was just very poor decision making. Oh. Hey, what? Hey, assist. Aleeson just scared me then. <laughs> I was like, ah, who did? And then it's Aleeson. I was doing Oh, I can't stand on her pool. I swear to God. Aleeson just randomly invades their jungle. With ap like, literally, look, look at the vision that we have in there. Zero. Actually, zero vision. like wanders in there without a care in the world see like a, again with common theme game quality it's gone down <laughs> as as our farm junglers back no jungling at the moment is all about pressure in lane phase like literally if you don't have pressure in lane phase you're basically being a worthless jungler but even Carthus in the jungle it's fallen off people don't play it anymore To be honest, we should be forcing five because they've got an Udyr. Should be looking for. Not being the most accurate today. I'm saying being accurate enough, but still not fantastic. That stun missed. I'm on my way. Lily shouldn't risk anything to kill the Jace. Thank you. Thank you for your contribution to the Zarathus Fed Fund. We appreciate your stay. Wait, my blue. Fun's dead. Wow. Trista's damage is really high. It's higher than you'd think like a late game AD carries would be. She is quite strong and she's strong because the bot lane was feeding. But still. Luda has to be going top lane, right? pinging Baron made me completely like confused if I'm honest I was like why are you spam pinging that I don't know why you're spam pinging it
He should have ulted. Bran should have ulted. That would be basically a dead dude here. Wow, overstay on Brand. What is going on? Are they not checking that? One and six, four and eight. Eight deaths in 20 minutes. Ooh, nearly half damage in one Q. We can't have too many people showing the bot. Because that definitely opens up Baron. Let me, let me do it. <laughs> That's the sound you make when. Oh my god. Ooh, that thresh hook! Dude, well played. That thresh hook was insane! Oh. To be fair, Udyr, there's no way a, new, a level 12 Udyr can kill it over a, a level 14 Lee Sin. One, Lee Sin Smite has 100 more damage. And secondly, well, Lee Sin actually didn't do it then. But Lee Sin's got one of the best Baron executes in the game. Q into Smite. Be careful in mid. Again, this Ezreal on that. Doesn't seem great. Oh, just group with me, I'll kill everything, man. Because, like, grouping makes Udyr useless, practically. And it honestly makes Jace... Le like, I I'm a fan of Jake. Wait, Tristana just into it. What the hell? What are they doing? Again, game quality has gone down. Not just on my team. In general, game quality has gone. Look at my damage. It's insane. Riot, please. Look at that damage. <laughs> Stack up for me. Stack up for me. Ooh. Good decent kick. Very nice. Ooh. There's no way we lose this game with grouping. Like, it just doesn't exist. Enemy team honestly have to, like, split push or something to win. And even that, I think, is way too risky for them. Get off. Oh, you're writing the site. Someone, uh, of me recording this, someone's about to go to the LCS or LEC finals. A couple of years ago, a couple of my old moderators, they're not around anymore, but they did a sign. Um, it was a funny sign that, like, it made it look like it said something bad, but in small print, it actually said, wow, it actually said some good stuff. Um, but it was, it was great. And, uh, we're trying to get a new sign to get onto LCS. I don't know, just say, like, subscribe to Huzzy Games or something. Hopefully they end up doing okay there. Looks like they've just let Gangplank off the loose. <laughs> oh, the confidence! I like it! To let her die with the burn. Nice. Very nice. 
So you, I also hope that you guys can kind of see, even though her farm's higher, can you guys see the carry difference between the Xerath and the Morgana? Like, the sheer damage difference is absolutely insane for one, but it's not just the damage, it's pressure. That, like, yeah, Morgana bind, but it's Morgana bind is the same if she's mid or support. It's the same thing. Batris needs to stop doing that. Um... I just have so much more pressure in general than a Morgana can ever get. And again, this is important because it's, it's a differentiation for a mid laner. For a support, Morgana has great pressure, but she's playing it mid. In mid, you need to have mid lane pressure. It's a lot. Um, you, you need to like carry, you need to like have CC, you need to have a lot going on in order to make it worth picking it mid. And to me, I like Morgana, but it doesn't have that pressure. It doesn't have the pressure of a Xerath, a Ari, uh, whatever. Like, name something and it doesn't have it. It just doesn't. And that's why every single champion in the league has a place. They, they have a, a position that is mainly the position that they play. Sadly, I didn't have ult, otherwise I would have gone for the ult kill. Again, don't be afraid to let your Q run out, by the way, because I think you get the mana recosted. Yeah, that's a word. Recosted. You can also see Uda is a lot less useful now. Oh. He just can't get in. But people keep getting hit by binds and hooks, man. <laughs> the Arcane Comet. That looked funny. Are we getting too in- Wow, look at the pressure that we- Like, I know I've said the word a lot. And maybe the video title will be something to do with pressure. Because pressure is very important. Um, but we just got two inhibs at the same time. Not bad. Re- Reno- or Rhino A2K? Thank you very much. Yeah, if you've got- us, If you're watching live right now, or if you watch YouTube, again, if you want to support what I do, again, if you're watching Twitch, throwing a sub, if it's a Twitch sub or anything, is amazing. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, throwing a like goes more than you think. But yeah. Ugh. It's weird that Xerath is never picked in comps or in pro play. It's because Xerath has a, an abundant uh, weakness. If people play together... He struggles. Oh my god, that was a godlike play by Lucin. Fantastic play. Again, the quality of this game has been questionable in places, but then in other places it's actually pretty good. Don't know why Gangplank's pop. Ta <laughs> Ude, I didn't pop your GA? No. Sorry, buddy. To be fair, he should be like well, he should be out trading a Lee Sin by now, but this Lee Sin got surprisingly strong. The early game it didn't look great, did it? Because like you know he lost in the one v one to a new deer, all that. But the Lee Sin did pull it around quite well. Again, it's really good when you can do that. When you're playing a champion that's designed for early game, you don't do great in the early game. It's one of the most tilting experiences. But then to keep your composure and go, nah, I'm just going to keep playing. Oh! That kick. Dude. That kick was glorious. Look at Udyr, man. Again, I know I, know I give Udyr a hard time. He has to use Splash to do anything and he's fallen off. Like... His damage, as I've said for ages, is very good when you're actually allowed to do damage, but that's the problem. Udyr can't do damage in late game. It just can't get to people. 
That Lee Sin played really well, though. He played great. Uh, to be fair, they all played, like, well, the bot lane really didn't. The brand did damage because it's brand, but the Gangplank played well. Lee Sin played, like, made a great recovery. And I don't think I, I half played too bad myself. I'll give it to Lee Sin for staying cool. I think that's a good summary. Again, playing an early game champion, recovers, does well. That's good. We're at 929, 186 farm, plus 18, 72 LP now, and damage done, dealing nearly the most damage. So surprisingly, Morgana does the most damage in the game. That'll be just people, like, standing on her W um, randomly. Um, then the Gangplank, and then me. And then also Lee Sin out damaging an Ezreal, which is a bit crazy. Udyr's damage all the way down here, but amongst all the damage dealers, so yeah. Uh, yeah, I did have minimap covered that game. I, I forgot to say anything about it, but it was because the what I ha what I had to deal with earlier today, I think is just a bit safe just to have the minimap covered for now. Uh, but that's going to be it. If you guys enjoy, throw a like on it, throw a comment, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.